Hey everyone, we are here at CES 2017 and I'm, behind, I'm in front of a giant mech robot. So this is a mech racing robot. I'm joined by Jonathan working on the prosthesis robot. Jonathan, how's it going? Uh, pretty good, pretty exciting here. Yeah, so we're gonna be talking about this thing. It's huge. Before getting to that, this coverage is brought to you by CyberPower and their CyberXL gaming PC with an invertible motherboard tray layout. Hit the link in the description below for more information. So Jonathan, starting straight off with this, can you give me a top level overview so we understand what we're talking about? <laughs> yeah, so this is a purpose-built off-road racing machine. Uh, it weighs about 8,000 pounds. It has a 200 horsepower lithium ion electric power plant and it's 100% human controlled. It has no self-awareness, no sensors in its joints. It's truly a, a sports machine and it requires an athlete to operate. It'll be a very challenging machine to operate. So it requires an athlete. Does the physical fitness of the pilot actually matter? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's going to be more about coordination. Uh, as, as the engineer, my j job was to make it stable and uh, learnable. So the input forces will be relatively low, but you'll be strapped in face down in the harness, flailing your arms and legs, controlling all the legs of the machine with your own body. That's four legs, right? Yeah, four legs. The outside legs are controlled by your arms, and the inside legs are controlled by your legs. So it has a kind of a, a gait of a gorilla. <clears throat> What's, uh, what functions can this do? I, I guess obviously walking, can it accelerate, sprinting, jumping? Yeah, it is, it's intended to be a running racing machine. So it's got a, a meter of a hydraulically actuated leg travel and then another half a meter of suspension travel. It's outfitted with custom spec like off-road racing shocks. So the computer simulations were based on drop tests of a meter. Uh, the computer simulations also indicate that it will be able to leap up to half a meter off the ground from a standstill, which would be amazing. And then it's got a four and a half meter stride. So if, you, if you're doing that every half second, like that's 30 kilometers an hour. <laughs> so 8,000 pounds and it can jump about half a meter, you're saying? Yeah. That sounds like a lot of force. It's a tremendous amount of force. We're running 3,000 PSI on the hydraulics, and when you put it all together, there's about 14,000 pounds of thrust making this thing jump. What's, uh, what's the current status for getting this actually in some kind of race, even if it's just like a times trial? Uh, that's a great question because it is the only one of its kind in the world, so time trial is going to be the first right. format. Um, we, we have the, the control system designed and built on a prototype leg back at the lab in Vancouver, and this power plant and like sort of structural architecture of this is all uh, working. We had to position it to move it here on the trailer. So we're going to bring it back to Vancouver in February after hitting SolidWorks World in LA and uh, put the interface in and probably test it in the next six weeks. There should be some videos coming out of it uh, running around the fields out in the valleys. Is it all uh, flat terrain for now, I guess? Definitely flat terrain for starting. These bumper bars uh, actually deploy almost right down to the ground, so they allow the, the pilot to train without falling over, and they've got big shocks on them. Um, so, and they also will right the machine if it does end up face first at some point. Um, but it's capable of hills, stairs, rocks, whatever you name it. <clears throat> and how about for the, the feet, which are massive, obviously, anything special going on there? The feet were actually one of the most challenging parts of the machine because there's so many demands on a foot. Uh, I mean, the human foot is ultra complex compared to just our simple limbs. Uh, the, they're going to have, um, they don't have them on now, but they're going to have uh, ure, polyurethane pads. So part of the development process will be to engineer the right kind of compliance in the pads. Uh, we'll be wrapping like off-road racing tires. We'll take dune buggy tires or ATV tires and, and wrap them around. So we'll have these big knobby toe pads. You could swap them out for like road slick tires. Uh, and then there's all the degrees of freedom that the toes uh, articulate so that if you hit, hit on even ground, they don't just warp. Uh, there's a little bit of suspension compliance in the ankles. So it's, feet are were one of the greatest challenges. Very cool. Anywhere that folks can go to learn more, follow your progress, Twitter accounts, websites. Yeah, absolutely. We've got a Twitter and Instagram handle of racing underscore mech. Uh, and furionrobotics.com is the website that we'll be posting updates on. Furion Robotics is the joint venture between me and my team and, and Furion, our, our top sponsor here. So that's where the, the mech racing league will be grown. Awesome. So if you want to learn more, hit the links in the description below or go to those locations. Thank you for joining me, Jonathan. Yeah, pleasure. And we'll see you all next time.